The new school year is right around the corner and it's closer still for those heading off to college. In tonight's KX Conversation, we're talking about student loans and what young people can do to pay them off while still saving money for the future with a leader of processing and repayment for the Bank of North Dakota. Jennifer Bickle, thank you so much for being here. You're welcome. Now first, how much is the average North Dakota student loan? Um, with Bank of North Dakota right now, our average borrower carries a balance of a roughly around $10,000. Um, and yeah, I would say most of our students uh, are typically in a four-year program. Is that a lot? Average? Uh... I, I mean, that is the average. Okay. I, I think definitely you're seeing these days that the average stu you know, uh, college education uh, trends definitely higher than that. Sure. Um, so we definitely have borrowers you know, with higher balances than that. And obviously it depends on the major they're going into, the school that they're choosing to uh, attend for college. So a number of different factors and ultimately what their balance is going to be when they come out of school. Right. Even with that average, it can be a lot, especially with books and all extra costs. So give us some tips on how some of the students can save with that debt. Well, I think one of the things that maybe most students really don't realize or probably don't think about as they're going through school is, and obviously you have those other expenses that are going to go along with that, um, but while the student is in school and they've taken those loans out, you know, they're not responsible typically for the, the repayment of them until a grace period after they exit school. Um, but one of the things they could be doing um, is actually paying the interest that is accruing on that loan during that time, um, which can, you know, sometimes significantly significantly make a difference on what that ending balance is when they're coming out of school. Now, obviously, there's those other expenses they're going through, and it's really hard to maybe put some money towards that, but even a, a student who's putting $25 to $50 towards a payment every month, you know, that could really help them out by the time they get out of school. And we've heard a lot of talk about mass student loan forgiveness, but nothing has happened, nothing widespread yet. So what is the best way for students to manage those loans once they do graduate and they have to start making those payments? Well, you know, I think the best way to manage your loan is really to be doing some research before you even start school um, and, and really taking a realistic look at, okay, this is the field I'm choosing to go into. What, what kind of a salary can I realistically expect to make coming out of school? Um, and really understanding probably for the first time in their lives, start thinking about budgeting. You know, what are my expenditures going to be at that point? So how much can I realistically afford when I'm making a rent payment or a car payment as well? Um, and we've got some tools on our, our Bank of North Dakota website that students and parents can use to kind of help guide them through that. Um, but really it's, you know, as you're in school, it's, um, you know, really managing your finance as well. Um, the payments you may have, your cell phone, maybe you do have that car payment, you know, staying up with your payments, making those and, and starting to prepare for that moment of coming out of school and then having those additional bills that you're going to need to pay too. Okay, of course, we'll have those tips in the story on our website, ksnet.com.